This month, Sega revealed a new look for Sonic the Hedgehog and Friends for the upcoming Nintendo exclusive Sonic Boom. Here to comment on the controversial new design is Sonic Boom character designer Paul Jean Janvier. Hi! Hi, Paul. Hi, Paul Ian. Hi, Elise. Very nice to be um, here. Uh, so, what can you tell us about the new Sonic designs? Well, here they are. Oh. Here's my designs. Uh, my team set out to do three things. We had to make Sonic more modern, we had to make Sonic more western, and we had to make Sonic more bangable. More bangable? Yeah, bangable. Uh, like, you want to bang him. This is why we added a scarf. It makes him much more attractive. It's also why we made him taller. Now you can maybe imagine Sonic in your bed. Maybe you could imagine taking this thing to the movies. And then banging afterward. Uh, when you look at the old Sonic from Japan, you might think, Ew, Japan, you want to bang that? Leave that poor creature alone. He's so short. Get your hands off of that. With my more internationally bangable Sonic, it's more culturally accepted that you want to bang this. You want to get in on this. Please, please talk about anything else. Heist missions are coming to GTA Online sometime this spring, similar to those in the game's main storyline. Much in the same way LA is facing a massive drought, Los Santos is facing a creative one. You burnt. You burnt. Like the beautiful hillsides of the Santa Monica Mountains. <laughs> the, the best way I could describe Uber is there, there's a couple of times where I'll just be sitting at my desk trying to write or do something, and he'll just come up to me and he won't say anything. He'll just like start shaking me. <laughs> yeah, even as well as this. <laughs> and then he'll just walk away. <laughs> Before the merger, because I am very hands on, yeah, especially hands when I get hyped, I like yeah. shaking people. Uh, Brandon Jones got super serious one day. I went into his office, was getting pumped, GTA 5, and he, and he gets all of a sudden super serious. He looks at me, he goes, yo, I don't mind it. Or he's like, he's like I know, I know it, it's not malicious or anything, but like, can you please just not touch me? <laughs> <laughs> no. Dude, sometimes when Brandon gets serious, it's just it's like, so it's intense. like, it's yeah. like, yeah. It's so nice. Yeah. Oh. Well, cause usually he's, he's nice, but he's also like, yeah. not disengaged, but like, he doesn't, he's, he does, he's not like hands on on a lot of things. Yeah. So when he does it, you're like, oh, oh yeah, something must be real fucked if you're So yeah. I've never touched him since. <laughs> when, I, when, I, when you first yeah, started, when you first started, you you first started we were all everybody. like, who the hell is this guy? <laughs> I don't you, even know his name. And he just came into my <laughs> office and went like this to me without saying anything <laughs> then, and then ran off. Then, I was like, kinship. I was like, who the fuck was that? Instant kinship. But then when you left, we were all so sad. Yeah. We were all we like, were like, where's that weird molester guy? And we're so happy you're here. Last weekend, Fraxis announced the newest entry in the Civilization series, Sid Meier's Alpha Centauri. <laughs> get it? But they really did announce a new Civ. It's called Civilization Beyond Earth that takes the gameplay of Civilization and extends it into the far reaches of space. For an in-depth look at the series and where it's heading, we go to senior spaced out gamer Rob Slusser. Rob? English broadcaster and voice of the Planet Earth series, David Attenborough, is filming a nature documentary for the Oculus Rift VR headset. The first program will be known as Conquest of the Skies. Attenborough's second program will be based on the mating habits of the North American wildebeest and will be called Beastie Love to Private Eyes. <laughs> I can't believe you got through that! <laughs> that was awesome! But you were just giving me some Beastie Love too yeah. on my face while I was trying to read the news and do my job. <laughs> uh, 
the figures were strong, but I, I wouldn't say that 53% is the lion's share of the market. Uh, how does Xbox intend to really pull ahead in the console race? Bottom line, it comes down to establishing a solid base to build from. I can confidently say we've achieved that. We're pursuing mass market integration and seeing an overwhelming response from the global gaming community. If anybody thinks they can fuck up our drive, come fuck up our drive. I dare you. I will eat your fucking face. I'll suck your flipping eyeballs out of your goddamn skull. I call fucking bullshit. Terry, are you all right? There are bugs in here. There are no bugs, Terry. Terry, I don't know if we can continue this interview. Why? I think he might have an anger problem. Come on, let's talk Xbox. A Long Island SWAT team was called to the home of a 17-year-old Call of Duty player this week, creating a two-hour standoff and racking up an expense of over $100,000. We at Mandatory Update have an exclusive interview with the until now anonymous culprit, 16-year-old Call of Duty fanatic Michael Muffdale. Hey. Hi, Michael. Uh, you don't feel any remorse about this? No disrespect right now, but what is that word? Remorse? Yeah, I don't know what that is. Uh, do you feel bad for calling in a SWAT team on this person's family? Oh, I see what you're trying to say. Uh, no, I don't feel bad. Uh, it should be understood. This kid was using an AK-12 with the bacon skin, and he was spawn camping. And I was like, wink dead. Uh, someone could have seriously been injured. People suited up that day thinking they, they could possibly die. Yo, that's their fault if they're scared to die. Because I ain't. Uh, look, Michael, we brought you on today because we were hoping that you might apologize. <laughs> what? No. Blink dead. What, what is that word? Are you trying to swear? Just say fuck. No, that's a cuss word for old people. People don't say fuck anymore? No. We say blink. Math, Gliss, Yeek Dag, Smosh, Chig, Mewick, Butt Humper. Hey guys, look at this, look at this. Oh! Fuck it. I paper like killer! It. Paper killer! Paper cutter! Two! The paper cutter! Two! Recut! Recut! The master, the final cut. It's like, she's a professional scissorer. <laughs> I call bullshit! <laughs> it takes like five hours for someone to die from paper I do, cuts. I do this one move where like some, somebody's trying to get away and then I, I drop to one knee and I go like this and I slit their tendons. With paper. With paper. Yeah. I slit their tendons with paper and then it doesn't do anything because it's paper so they keep running away. <laughs> so, I call fucking bullshit. God damn it, I'm sorry. <laughs> shit, shit, shit. Publisher Dark Horse is releasing a themed art book that will celebrate the 30-year history of Naughty Dog. The book, which retails for $39.99, features 184 pages of concept art and commentary. Said the publisher, I guess it's art, if you want to call it that. A lot of the sketches are pretty rudimentary, the kind of thing you'd find scrawled haphazardly on a hotel napkin. But remember, these are the same people who like The Last of Us, so clearly taste isn't an issue. Yeah. You burnt. You burnt, Last of Us. Uh, it's not as simple as that. A SWAT team attacked that poor kid's house. <laughs> Damn it, I'm sorry. People don't say fuck anymore? Nope. We say blink, math, gliss, yigdag, smosh, <laughs> <laughs> So what do you think of Bloodborne? Well, That's I'm, about right. What do you think of Last of Us? I agree with that. That's what I thought, too. Valve announced that the steam machines will be delayed until sometime next year. You hear that, Jasper? Them steam trains ain't never gonna run! The West is ours! <laughs> Here we are with Kyle Bossman. Publisher Dark Horse is releasing a themed art book that will celebrate the 30-year history of Naughty Dog. The book, which retails for $39.99, will actually contain more playable content than The Last of Us. You burnt, Last of Us! You burnt! We did it again! We did it again! Boop -boop. Oops! Boop -boop. We did it again. Bandai Namco made waves earlier this year when it changed its name from Namco Bandai. Now, the company has filed for a change of name once more. As of April 1st, company subsidiaries will be rebranded from Bandai Namco Games to Bandai Namco Entertainment. Man, they need to work this stuff out. 
They changed their name more than that one singer with the really high voice. Uh, you know the one. Uh, the one whose skin changed color and, and he probably molested all those kids. The dead one. Prince. <laughs> oh, God! That's inappropriate! Valve announced that the steam machines will be delayed until next year. Do it again. <laughs> Well, you look beautiful. <laughs> Valve announced that the steam machines will be delayed until next year. <laughs> the company has now filed a change for now. What do I keep adding words? Why am I? Why am I adding all these words? See why I want to speak. It makes me fuck up the jokes, and then I can't say the jokes right. Valve announced that the steam machines will be delayed until sometime next... <laughs> We've been tracking our views and we feel we need to branch out to a younger audience. What with our constant Jurassic Park references, we realize we might be skewing a little older. So without further ado, please welcome Kid Gamer! Uh, Kid Gamer? Oh, what's, what's up, son? Pardon me, pardon me. Hi, welcome to the show, Kid Gamer. Or, or should I call you by your real name? Hey, that is my real name, Doc. I had it legally changed. So your name is Kid Gamer. What happens when you're not a kid anymore? How, how old are you? When were you born? Sony's Don Messa says that AAA games are not economically feasible for the PS Vita. That makes sense. I don't think the Vita even uses AAA batteries. Yep. Oh, yep. What's your big pick right now? What, what should all our viewers be playing? I know it's hella old, but I still love me some Mag. Mag? That game was terrible. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Just because something's too fast for your old thumbs doesn't mean it's bad. I don't think he meant bad. I think he just meant that it wasn't really well received. Ahead of its time, girl. 256 players, yo. But the servers aren't even running. You can't even play that game anymore. My dad got me some private servers, son. He paid for that shit. What up? Your dad is an idiot. My dad ain't an idiot. He's a dentist. Tim, you're doing a great job. Tim's our camera guy. We love Thanks, him. Tim, Noah, do a great Noah. job too. Noah's carrying a thing that's like 500 pounds. Can we get yeah. a shot of this thing? It's awful. Look at that. I had a best friend from like birth until about age Lies. six. There was one time when we made an earwig graveyard and it was like to <laughs> honor the earwigs that we buried, but we had to kill <laughs> <laughs> that holds up. That's classic kid logic. Yeah. We were like, okay, well, yeah. We'll I did it. the same thing with hookers. <laughs> Dad is an idiot. He ain't an idiot. He's a dentist. <laughs> Even bigger obstacle was faced. Sorry. Was that bad? No, it was beautiful. <laughs> okay, all right, I'll go from uh, your dad is an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> this just in, someone has predicted that the Wii U will be successful. Update the board! Best Blizzard developed card game. I'd say any video game that can get Ben Moore to part with that much money would be any video game. Next up, one of my personal favorites, best performance in a video game, goes to, sorry Troy Baker, quality over quantity, but bah, bah, it's Goat from Goat Simulator. Come on up, little guy. Oh God, I forgot to practice this. Hang on. No, 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 hang on, hang on. Oh, it's a goat. No, you're fucking me up, stop it. Shut up. That's racist. Whoa, Jinjo. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you do it! Combat. Stealth. Wonder. Intensity. Heroism. These are the characteristics of a great action adventure game. The nominees this year are Assassin's Creed Unity, Bayonetta 2, Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor, Bayonetta 2, and Infamous Second Son. And the winner is Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. Da, da, da. Here to accept this award is Kyle Bossman. Oh. 
All right, first of all, I just want to thank God. Uh, second of all, I want to thank Toad. Uh, his words, time for adventure. He meant it. Thank you. Captain Toad, isn't that a puzzle game? This week, Microsoft head Phil Spencer asked the question, wouldn't it be great if we could play games from anywhere in the house? To which we responded, those games? No, I don't want to play those games all over the house. I would not play them in the house. I would not play them with a mouse. I would not play them in a box. I would not play them with a fox. Would you, could you in a car? I would not, could not in a car. Would you play them in your socks? I do not like the damned Xbox. <laughs> and lastly, a word from our sponsor. This show has been brought to you by guitars. Now that's living. Live to play. Play to live. Goodbye, Teresa. I'll check in, I promise. Microsoft is closing shop on Xbox Entertainment Studios. However, this won't affect the upcoming Halo TV series. An inevitably disappointing Steven Spielberg project lives to see another day. You Spielberg! Spielberg! Nothing's better than winning the game as the ADC! Damn! Every Raw on my team is a jerk. They think they're the best just because they knife kill. Call the insurance company, because there's been damage done. Brad! What? I like your shirt! Eat shit! GT's own Daniel Bloodworth went hands-on with The Witcher 3 this week, and he burned a woman's body. What? He played The Witcher 3, and then he went and burned a woman's body. Oh! Uh, see, I thought... He burned a woman's body in the game. Oh no, that would be ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. Woo. His clitoris is swelling. What, is clitoris a naughty word to you, Hubie? It's the only word I care about. Let's do it again. <laughs> Ladies. Do, 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 do your heart emote thing again. Do your heart emote again. Okay. I got my hands on The Witcher 3. I lost my glass. Fuck. I don't play games with other people. I think that the crystal figures of Disney Infinity are fairly redundant. Who gives a shit about Disney Infinity? Oh! That's it for opinion, yell, and as usual, you're all wrong. There's a new Halo novel releasing this March called Halo New Blood. It follows the story of Daniel Bloodworth's horrifying fall from grace into the maddening world of serial murder and ritualistic woman burning. <laughs> See, the joke is Blood is a very nice band yeah. who had never heard a fly. Great values. And when she asked him his thoughts on The Witcher 3, he just said, I burned, I a, burned woman's a woman's body. <laughs> <laughs> so we're like, what? I said, that's all I need. Yeah, we'll <laughs> run with it. Welcome back to today's Opinion Yell. This week, it's a smite fight. Only this month on Opinion Yell. <laughs> <laughs> Only this month. Smite! 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 <laughs> Dude, how good is the man in the air glass? <laughs> <laughs> what? what a non sequitur! Not that good! Yeah, it's not Are good! Leo DiCaprio. The original Leo DiCaprio? Yeah! No! <laughs> Since launching last November 18th, almost 10 million copies of Grand Theft Auto V have been sold for PS4 and Xbox One. Although it was even more impressive that one copy managed to be sold for the Wii U, a console that the game is not even developed for. But love works in mysterious ways. <laughs> Who was that? <laughs> Who was that person? Jasmine. Was... Jasmine. It's my alter ego, like Sasha Gray. Tell me a little bit. Wait, your alter ego, Jasmine, Jasmine. is like Sasha Gray. Jasmine Flower. Flower. <laughs> no, like Beyonce has Sasha Gray. I have Sasha Jasmine Gray Flower. Sasha Gray is a porn actress. Oh, who am I thinking of? Sasha Fierce. I'm thinking of Sasha Gray. <laughs> I bet you are. <laughs> Break <of> my heart. <laughs> <laughs> the Persona 5 trailer was finally released this week, and here to give us his professional opinion is Persona expert, Ben Kuhn. Ben, what'd you think of it? Yeah. We're taking forever today, sorry. <laughs> We're having fun. But we're having fun! Yeah. Ah. I love starting this joke over and over again. Yeah! Did I tell you guys that starting jokes over and over again is one of my favorite things? Oh, really? Yeah. Well, I've got a treat in store for you. <laughs> EA's, ah! <laughs> EA's new 
Ja. 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 Well, I thought there was a spider or something. The head of Hello Games says he's worried that No Man's Sky might get overhyped. Too fucking late, man. Just look at Huber. And I wanted you to know this is not about love. Crotch water. That's my third favorite kind of water. Oh. You got it all over your face, too. like a dream I had once where you got you fell into a big tub of snot and then died horribly because you choked on all the snot Three, two. <laughs> just, just pat those thighs out look at them go <laughs> Hiromasa Shikata says the story calls for this sort of legend slash prophecy where heroes will come together to help solve a problem and in that, they are male characters. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? That's the most sexist and offensive so, thing well, ever. There's more. He tries to, to elaborate. And so because the game is set with that as the story background, you cannot choose a gender. You are a male character. We do have a lot of female staff members who are playing this game and enjoying it. It doesn't seem to be a big issue to them. And to be honest, Link isn't the most masculine of guys in the world, depending, <laughs> depending on how you want to project yourself onto the character. It's um, so fucked up what? in like five ways. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> James is a good old boy. He's from what I guess qualifies technically as the South. Where is he? Where is he from? He's still playing Destiny. He's still playing Destiny. North Carolina. Yeah. yeah. That just means he's like he appreciates I, I, his friends. I pop into Destiny from no, time to time. No, he plays it alone, Kyle. Inexplicably, he does play it alone. Oh. No. <laughs> no. Look of sheer. From, and that's coming. <laughs> consider the source too. Oh, no. My God. That's real <laughs> grievous. I don't know what to think about that. <laughs> well, I, was t I was telling Ben. I play 14 alone, though. Okay. I was telling Ben I finally got Captain Toad treasure track. You ever do one of these? Oh! <laughs> Did you not know that everyone people? on the internet is garbage? Well, I'm on the internet. Prove me wrong with your behavior, internet. <laughs> Prove me wrong. The beauty boys are very polite. The beauty boys yeah. are all very polite. <laughs> Hi, beauty boys! Yeah. We love the beauty boys. What I'm saying is the people, we they, love they the like, beauty boys. in one breath, they like tell us to fuck off because they like want us to make the show that they like. Because they like the other show, yeah. Yeah, but I just think that's funny that they're, that like, they okay. want us, they like us, but yeah. they hate us. The fuck is hate us? Cause they ain't us. They hate us cause we ain't us? Breaking news, Jonathan Blow has spent most of his fortune on The Witness. And we were shocked to learn that Jonathan Blow had a fortune. <laughs> That's so mean. We don't mean it. We, we love Jonathan we Blow. We love it. This is actually- If The Witness doesn't come out, I'm, I'm just gonna- Shit! It's really disappointing news to learn and we hope he gets actual proper funding because he deserves it. This looks like an amazing game. But you can crash at my house if you need to. Yeah. I got an extra set of sheets. Yeah, I don't. Um, but Razor, like, you know, had a little snafu with Evo, but now they're like, hey, Situation nice normal, PR. all fucked yeah, up. Yeah, that's real what positive, snafu stands for. Positive PR for Razor. Yeah. Yeah. At the gate here. Uh, I on, the, on the heels of that, that debacle at Evo with that Razor stick failing. Yeah. Yeah. That is what Elise just said. Well, I was talking about what snafu means. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I couldn't tell if you just had blown over what I said or you were elaborating on it. <laughs> but I'll have you know that this is on the heels <laughs> of that stick debacle at Evo. Well, how long ago was Evo? Get that out of my shot. It's out of your shot. It's get out it, of your get shot. Get it off out of your shot, too. It's out of my shot. It's out of everybody's shot. I don't want it in the... I don't want that bottle showing up anywhere for this show. It's not in the bottle. Show. It's not in Every the show. episode, there's a cap for one of your stupid okay, tea all right, bottles all right. the in the episode. The cap is gone. The tea is gone. Just do your joke. Do, I'm, <laughs> 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 I'm 
Get out of here. Tase guy. No, I don't want him in the episode. Tase guy. I'm Shut up. Just do your I'm joke. I'm not joking. Do your I don't joke. want it in the episode. Do your joke. Do your joke. Do your joke. Do your joke. I don't want it in the episode. Do your joke. It's not going to go in the episode. It's going to be fucking floating behind me. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. I know. Do. Put it over there. <laughs> I don't want it in the episode. It's like a... Ow, 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 ow. Oh, that one's painful. Are you okay? No, this is only my bad hand. You're I shattered. I'll hold your hand and you do your No, get rid of the box. Ah! She got... She just... Earlier this week, a trailer leaked for Assassin's Creed Rogue, the PS3 and Xbox 360 title coming to the series, prompting Ubisoft to officially announce the game. It's a dark day when a game about stealth can't even keep its own trailer under wraps. Welcome to Mandatory Update. Hi. I'm Elise Willems. I'm Ian Hink. And this is Mandatory Update on, on Tour. tour. Uh, we got Bossy up here driving us around. Thank you, Bossy. So we, we don't have access to our stage today. We don't have access to our stage because we, we're getting a fancy new stage. Yeah, but we still wanted to do Mandatory Update. Positive spin. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we said, what if we do something completely normal and have Bossman drive us around like well, a chauffeur? Well, Kyle can't does something like, hey, guys. I don't, I don't know if you're interested, but I've kind of got a car, and I've always wanted to shoot something in it. That's what Bossman sounds Kyle. like. It was not Bossman's really? idea, though. We, can, we can't give him credit for this. Oh, no. It was, no, no. It was Ian's idea. Yeah, absolutely. I said, uh... And she she wasn't into it at first. But now she is. Right? I just, you know, you've been, when you've been filmed in a car Watch before... Watch out for those kids, uh, when, Like the bang bus? <laughs> When you've been filmed on the bang bus. When you've been on the bang bus. <laughs> oh, that's not true. Uh, anyway. I was on the bang bus. To celebrate World of Warcraft's 10th anniversary, Blizzard has... <laughs> Kyle. I mean... <laughs> what? <laughs> Sorry. What? I didn't do anything. Can you please open the drink in the shot? <laughs> I hate it. I, hate it. Ah! I haven't even watched the trailer. Don't play dumb with me. <laughs> 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 Some really terrible Gamescom cam footage of Fallout 4 found its way onto Pornhub this week. I thought the acting was bad and I wish there wasn't music in it, but I liked the eye contact. It really felt like they cared about each other. <laughs> it's a Pornhub joke. I like a good Pornhub joke. Yeah. Do you think that Pornhub will rival YouTube for being the number one gaming platform now that, uh... <laughs> yes. You're not gonna fit their truck. You're out of your mind. Um, yes I do. Jonathan Blow made some strange tweets earlier this week in regards to The Witness's development. In his tweets, Blow claims that The Witness is like 10 times as big as Braid, and that he can 100% the game in about 380 minutes. We were left puzzled by this, wondering how one tweets from a payphone. <laughs> he can't make these jokes anymore. He's a nice man. He's a nice man with no sense of humor. And talented We love work. Jonathan Blow. We love him. And his game, I think. Convenience. Let's all work on Steven Tyler impressions. Ah! Ah! So that's pretty good. Ah! Like, you had manner mannerisms there, but yeah, I he feel goes like, like you were trying to do he a goes, voice. He, this no, he, goes, wait, he goes, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I think he goes, I, I love this way. idea. You do like, wait a minute. Steven Tyler, you gotta like. Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes. Yes. Wait a minute. A I love this idea. He like, wait, wait a minute. It's there lower. His yeah. voice is. Wait, wait a minute. Tyler, my I love daughter. this. Where's Owen? Yeah. Hello, everyone. Welcome Liv. to American Idol. I'm a host. Yeah. <laughs> Liv, I love. <laughs> I loved you in in that Lord of the Rings movie. Uh, you did such a great job. Okay, I'll see you. And then he just leaves. <laughs> but what, what I would I do? I'm your daddy. I'm your daddy. I love you. <laughs> wow. When's your birthday again? When's your birthday? <laughs> Who's your mom? <laughs> oh, he didn't know that she was his daughter for like 20 years. Wait, really? Oh, yeah. so sad. But her There's name like is Liv Tyler. Well, she, oh, man. she identified with someone else as her father. She didn't learn until she was like a young adult that Steven Tyler. But her last name was Tyler? No. Oh. Um, so she switched so that she could get famous. I guess. That's a good idea. Uh, That's what good I call. Wanted, Harmonics is giving PlayStation Plus members 10 extra songs with a pre-order of Rock Band 4. These include Summertime Boy by C Stick C Steve, Mona Lisa by Dead Sarah, and Throne by Bring Me the Horizon. Hey Rock Band, MySpace called. It wants its music back. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle, you were supposed to do Kyle, that. Kyle, you were supposed to do that. <laughs> that. That was very funny when our, in our read-throughs, but you two have actually been laughing at all your own jokes this whole time. 
Yeah, <laughs> that's cause, because that's we cause love we're ourselves. hilarious. <laughs> Bosman, I hope you're in your camera. I hope so. <laughs> um, oh boy. Uh, I'm talking about Don. I hear that Don is one bad mother. Shut your mouth. I'm talking Don, about Don. Don, 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 Don. Let me see that Don, baby. Tales of Exilia 2 comes out in North America next week. Cross Ilia. Excuse me? Wayside Cross Ilia. Like the X is pronounced cross? How else? Who are you? I'm his brother. I'm his brother. We love the cross, Ilya. We do not care for your thoughts. I'm worried about my hair. Because I slept on it weird and it's all flippy uppy today. Uh oh. I'm in the doghouse now. Read it! <laughs> All I'm asking you to do, you're paid just to read words on a screen. That's all you need to do. I'm sorry. God damn it. I can't do it. Too weird. I can't do it. <laughs> Why did you do that? It's just what they wanted, though. It's too weird. Mandatory update. All in the news, the news you can lose, or the news you might lose. Either way, you're gonna find out about a game. The news here you see won't be the same. Oh. <laughs> EA pulled Chicago Blackhawks hockey player Patrick Kane off the cover of NHL 16 amidst rape allegations. Meanwhile, Marcus Phoenix remains on the cover of Beers of War. I promised the people in chat during Bossman's travesty of a stand-up routine that we'd point out which joke was Bossman's. It was that one. Oh, man. <laughs> he doesn't want... <laughs> Bossman, I'm willing to take responsibility for this amazing joke if you get flack about it. Yeah, that was Elise's joke. I didn't write that joke. Yeah, no, Bossman wrote that. It's hilarious. It's a hilarious joke! Yeah. The 60s were all about, like, soul-shattering loneliness. And they like, would listen to that on the radio. People people would write songs, like so many of these old songs are like, I'm so lonely. Yeah. Or like, I'm really sad. Or like, she cheated on me and there's nothing I can do about it. Or like, yeah. I'm like, yeah, man. You haven't heard Mr. Lonely from Akon. Uh, I haven't. I mean, yeah, loneliness is a prevalent human emotion, so How's people make songs on it. Yeah, it goes, sing that. Lonely. I'm so lonely. That's a sample. That's of sample. I've got nobody to call my own. Sample that's a sample. Ooh, I'm so lonely. And that's where the beat comes in. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. a sample yeah. from the 60s, probably. Sure. <laughs> Look, any chance I can talk about Akon. Yeah. You just love Akon. Love Akon. <laughs> Come on, widely known what Akon What is Akon fan. doing today? I know nothing about Akon. I'm just spitballing. Akon. I don't know. I would write a, a lyric about you plant an acorn, you grow an icon. Whoa. <laughs> like an acorn? Yeah, well, yeah, we got it. You plant That's an good. You plant an acorn, you grow a branch on the icon tree. You're losing <laughs> steam on it. It was better the first time. You plant time. an acorn, <laughs> photosynthesis happens, a sapling grows into a majestic pine on the icon. The story about Atari dumping unsold ET cartridges in a New Mexico landfill is the stuff of video game legend. But now a documentary by Xbox Entertainment Studios is looking to dig up the landfill in search of the mythical cartridges. We were putting together a joke for this, but we didn't have the budget to get past the storyboarding phase. So here we go. All right. First thing. We burn Microsoft to the classic burn. Microsoft uh, is burned, so we go to the you, you burn. You burn. You burn, yeah. Uh, they're all burned. E.T. shows up, heals Microsoft with his magic finger, Microsoft. and that rolls in. Mm -hmm. Make sure uh, that when you're shooting, you get my head and my ass in the shot. Oh, 
Okay, Mostly just walk. my ass. Your, your ass is really big, so I'm gonna have to follow behind you. Okay, all right. Okay. There we go, we got okay. it now. Oh, that's good. You're that's good? good, is that good? Is yeah. that what we want? That's what we wanna this see? This is the shot that saves game trailers. Welcome to Mandatory Update. Hi. I'm Elise Willems. I'm Ian Hink. This is our side bitch, Kyle Bosman. Perpetual guest, never a host, Kyle Bosman. Yeah, and that's uh, Mike Huber's back. He's running the teleprompter. Ian, I really appreciate the practical experience you're giving me right now. Of on the field camera work. Yeah, this this will this will be really beneficial to you, Ben, when Game Trailers goes out of business and you have to get a real job. Right. You can you can say, well, I operated a camera on full auto once. <laughs> <laughs> I suddenly just became very aware of my mouth moving as I speak. I'm kind of focusing on your mouth more than anything else. It feels really weird to like just pick, try saying something and just think about the movements your mouth is making. Ian. It's weird, right? My mouth feels really bad every time I say that. Yeah. Ian. That's natural. Yeah. That's natural. Bosman, That's what do you like thing. about Mandatory Update? Bosman, what do you like about us more specifically? I like uh, I like Don's appearance. Don has never struck out on Don Mandatory looks Update. Great. Yeah. I see. So it's nothing to do Bosman directly with Bosman likes your appearance, us. Don. You hear mm -hmm. that? He likes the way you look. So anyway. sometimes, sometimes we write the things Don says. So that really, so, you like us. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, you yeah. both know how to write for Don beautifully. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Kyle. Uh, Always the consummate guest. Classic side bitch. All right, uh, <laughs> let's begin. Five. Three crazy, four, five me. Two crazy, two crazy, two furious. Two crazy. We've done it. <laughs> We've done it. Wait, let me get a shot of that. We've arrived. Yeah. This is it right here. This is the pinnacle. This is the pinnacle. JDC is this over. It's not safe for work. Yeah. Sony has announced Darth Vader themed PlayStation 4 console bundles to celebrate Star Wars Battlefront and Disney Infinity 3.0. So my only fact checker note on this is that we said Darth Vader bundles. Only one bundle is Darth Vader themed. The other bundles are Star Wars themed. In what way? Is this his role on the show to like correct? You know what? Uh, well, on to the next one. No, no, no. I want to know. I want to know. I want to know what you're talking about. Yeah. What do the other ones huh. have? Just a regular old PS3. Well then, then we're not talking PS4. about that one. Oh, <laughs> who's fact checker? The fact now? checker has Son become the fact check. Ooh, you've been checked. <laughs> Ben's doing a good job. Oh. I got in the way of his wave and he hit me in the face with it. This is my best work. This is some of your yeah. best work. When asked to keep a rule voice, Ed Boon simply replied, he's not in MKX. Oh yeah? I'm Federal Agent Jack Bauer and if I say I'm in Mortal Kombat X then I'm in the game, damn it! GDC is more than just indie games, it also has some garbage. The sights and smells of GDC. Who says follow your nose? Is that the uh, Fruit Toucan Loops? Sam. Yeah, yeah I yeah. believe he's the Fruit Loops. Is that Fruit Loops? Fruit Loops dog. Fruit Loops dog? Yeah. It's a toucan. Yeah, but he, you should see the modern incarnations. He has a dog. He has a dog? Yeah, it's called Loops dog. Are you fucking with me right now? No, let me get a shot. Tell me where the detonator is! Or I'll slit this guy's throat! <laughs> <laughs> is there actually a Fruit Loops dog or not? Is this yeah, yeah. No, for no, real? Don't call it Fruit Loops dog. It makes you sound kind of, I don't know, scrubby. It's What's Loop, it? It's Loops dog. Loops dog? Yeah. Loops dog. Yeah, it's for the kids. Hashtag Loops dog. No, you're good. You're killing it, No, movie. this is great. You're killing These prompters are amazing. They're so big. <laughs> big and spacious. Yeah. I'm gonna move like in. My... The property values on the. <laughs> That's not true. What? I think. Like your what? Is it like my vagina? I said vagina. Vagina. But I, I'm not. I don't have a big vagina. <laughs> you got a big vagina? What's no. the deal? No, 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 I don't. Is there some truth coming out of no, you? What's no, no, the deal? No, no, no. no. Huh? That's pure speculation. Pure... I've never seen it. You've never seen it? Okay. So you have seen it? Well, So you know if it's big or small? I don't know. You're just taking a bigger banana for yourself. <laughs> and uh, everybody's hiring. Huh? Some kind of fairy person. Hi. I am a Sprite fairy. How are you guys doing? I'm tired. How are you? I am really tired too. It's been a long day and a half. The camera's beeping at me. I do. Holy shit. The game that launched a thousand Pokemon comparisons, Yokai Watch, will head to North America this November. There are over 200 of the Yokai available to capture and use in battle against their will. They are a peaceful people. <laughs> this joke 
she read she read this joke in the thing, and then I was like, we both just got really like even she got confused. I think halfway through reading it, we we're like, wait, where's the joke? <laughs> Nintendo legend Shigeru Miyamoto. All right. Says that he will no longer, oh Jesus Christ, God damn it, I'm sorry. Says that he will no longer make games that cater to a passive audience, that is sit back to content and fuck me in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't I do this one? How old's Elon Musk? Okay, we'll do that. How long is Elon, Elon Musk? Musk? The, uh, pff, only the creator of Tesla, and the guy who proposed the Hyperloop, the greatest thing that's ever happened. <laughs> Tesla? Invent Tesla? Oh my god. The cars, Huber. <laughs> the cars. <laughs> David Bowie invented man. Tesla. I got some jokes from Huber in <laughs> this episode. Too bad he's not mic'd. <laughs> Undead Labs got a bit of a surprise when they realized a group of contractors that had worked on the game scattered some hidden penises in some of the backgrounds of their zombie survival game, State of Decay. They've since released a statement in conjunction with Microsoft reassuring fans that Undead Labs was unaware of the textures in question and the dev is no longer working with the mischievous contractors. When I was trying to come up with a joke for this, I spent a really long time looking at pictures and trying to find dicks in them. A lot longer than usual. But then I found them, because I'm the best at finding dick. Ubisoft has announced Watch Dogs' first DLC pack entitled Bad Blood. We can't wait to run around Chicago as Daniel Bloodworth, tipping less than 15% at restaurants, double parking, and paying the minimum amount on his credit card bills. He might pop in he for was... the Until Dawn full playthrough live stream oh. that we're doing on Tuesday. I gotta get a new onesie. The one I got reveals my junk too much. Tell me about it. Yeah. Is everyone wearing pajamas? Yeah. You're supposed to. No matter what. Yeah. Because if I show up <laughs> wearing my pajamas, I'll just, just be naked. That's how I sleep. Naked. Can I tell a story? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Go ahead, side bitch. <laughs> it's Christmas. It's coming up to Christmas. <laughs> what? It's coming. So it's, it's, you know, it's last year. Uh, my grandmother sends out an email. Says, hey, everybody, we're going to do it. We're going to take a picture, all of us together. Everybody bring an ugly sweater. Bring the ugliest sweater you can find. I hope this doesn't go where it, I think it's going. And so uh, I did, I brought my ugly sweater, my ugly Christmas sweater, I brought it in. And so I'm ready to take the picture. And then everybody slowly like comes out and then like all rushes in. And this is like 10 or 12 family members and they're all wearing hoodies. And they're like, joke's on you, Kyle. We all brought hoodies. Don't you feel stupid? Because <laughs> you wear hoodies constantly. <laughs> and I'm like, no, I don't, I don't think so. The whole family just fucking trolled you? Yeah, you're really the only one wearing an ugly sweater. It's like, I'm okay, all right. <laughs> but wait, were they making fun of you for wearing hoodies all yeah, the time? Yeah, 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 yeah. They were all making fun of But then I found him, because I'm the best at finding dick. Dick hunters! Dick hunters! <laughs> you all get caught up in there! Dick Hunter! There's dick over there! There's dick, dick over, over there. there! There's dick in that gas! There's dick in my- No, it was rolling right off Huber being scared that we're pulling a prank on him. Yeah. That we're all like jammies, right? We're all wearing yeah. jammies. <laughs> no, I'm doing it. Okay. Yeah. Alright. We're not gonna ugly sweater you. Okay. Yeah, we're not gonna Bosman's awful family you. <laughs> That's pretty great though. <laughs> That's hilarious yeah. that they all trolled you. And the fact that you didn't change and still wear hoodies you're true to your schlubby nature. Yeah, absolutely. I respect that. You can't stop me. You can't. Family. You, you can't. You can't force Bossman into Good having Good for you, taste. side bitch. <laughs> Good job, side bitch. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's the show for that's this the show. week. Thank you for watching. The only barriers to doing it perfectly are the latency of the hardware, the resolution of the screen, and the quality of the objects. All of these are human engineering parameters that will be improved over time. I think we will be at a point where in 10 years the quality of the hardware and the polish it has achieved will be so high that it will be genuinely indistinguishable from reality. Wait, what? I mean, I'm all for high aspirations, but if he thinks they're going to outdo Poland, then... No, 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 not Polish. Polish. Oh. Man, in that case, fuck the Polish. <laughs> this is the dumbest joke. What a that stupid, so stupid stoop. <laughs> <laughs> um, Man, I punched that fan to prove to blood how hard I was yesterday. Yeah, your hand looks pretty bruised. And now it's all got cuts all over it. Yeah. Was blood impressed? I think so. Okay.
Worth it. Notice me, senpai. Notice me. <laughs> Resident Evil 1 is better than Resident Evil 4. It's a fact. Whoa there. Keep it above the belt, gentlemen. <laughs> what the crap is an awaken? What is it? What'd you wake up from? He wasn't yelling, but we'll give it to him. You played that game? Like a hundred times. Oh, you little... A hundred times. You can't control... Call the Undertaker, because that friendship's dead. I think I got fucked up in my scripts, but I'll just cut that. Oh no, wait, that was for Kyle. Wait. Normally you get fucked up in your car. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! It's time to quit! Or a liar and a coward and a have that opinion if you played any other game! I hate this. I love The Last of Us. I love it too! Oh, we're probably gonna see a Super Luigi maker, right? No. The year of Luigi is gone. Yeah, it's over. He had his chance. What about the renaissance of Luigi? You've only got one shot to go. Don't blow it. Mom spaghetti. Arm spaghetti. Arm spaghetti. Luigi. Side bitch, you like Eminem? What's the deal? <laughs> I love it too! Yeah, hit me for real. Yeah, hit me for real. I love it too! I love it too! I love it too! Claimed that it was a piece of World War I US propaganda. The poster featuring a soldier eating a baby with the caption, Soldiers Eat Babies. That's a fact. <laughs> it was propaganda! It was propaganda! propaganda. <laughs> Uh, show pointer, I think that's a solid joke. Weird one to end on. Is that the end? It was a sad... Yeah, you gotta end on a zinger. Sad ending. Uh, your face, <laughs> Bossman's face. <laughs> the zinger! That's the show, see you later! We've been getting some mail from fans who have noticed similarities between our show and another. Good eye! Mandatory Update is actually an American adaptation of an original British show, Update Compulsory. For those interested, we have a clip. <laughs> Cheerio! It's time for a bit of a sit down with Update Compulsory. I am Ian Hinckley. And I'm Benjamin L. Morehouse. The L stands for Leslie. Oh. On today's program, Nintendo has a bit of a go with the fans. Those cheeky buggers! But first up, Batman Arkham Knight will launch June 2nd, 2015 on next gen and Windows PC video game players. Oh. To have a bit of a chat about this news, please welcome legend of the English stage and screen, Michael Caine. Oh, Michael Caine. Arkham Knight. Dark Knight. Yes, yes. Both pseudonyms for the caped crusader, as one might say. <laughs> <laughs> I was in the films, you know. Yes, yes, Michael, we know. I played the maid. Yes. Elise, I think we can both agree that a fantastic game came out last week. I agree with you completely, my friend. The, uh, the just the, the, the look, the feel, the world, so good. You're telling me the character development, the story, it's all there. The gameplay, the mechanics are so tight, it's perfect. The way it makes you know exactly what it feels like to be a conflicted teenage girl. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I'm glad we agree on this. Me too. And there you have it. Um. Well, thank you, Michael. That doesn't really tell us anything about the delay, now does it? Not much analysis in there, eh? What he means to say is, everything you said was right sodding rubbish, mate! I'm so sorry, I failed you! You trusted me, and I failed you! <laughs> Not Michael. No. He didn't mean it. He didn't? Gotcha! Oh, beg your pardon! 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 I don't understand. Oh look, it's Michael Hubesley down to bring us news of the Welsh season. Hello! 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 Hello. Aren't you looking right proper today? Oh, I know! Oh. Beg your pardon! Beg your pardon! Beg your pardon! <laughs> A cryptic video on the League of Legends Facebook page shows a mask split in two and tells a story about a pale man who was lonely, so he took an axe and split himself in two so he'd always have a friend. This could be a tease for a new champion or a page from Kyle Bosman's diary. That's Kyle Bosman there. 
side bitch, as we look call it. that glowing, winning smile. Yeah, look at him. He's beautiful. <laughs> do you keep a diary, Bossman? I do not keep a diary. I don't either. I've always found something a little weird about it. You love yourself if you write a diary. Oh. Um, I've considered keeping a diary about, like, an I I diary, like an idea diary. I do that. Yeah. I keep Absolutely. that. You know? Do that in your phone. I do that on my Evernote. Evernote. Yeah, I mean, I I always write little notes in my phone of like weird non sequitur ideas, and then months later, months later, you're like, like, yeah, you're like, fuck? you're like toilet arms. The fuck does that mean? And then I'm like toilet. And then arms. You're like, oh. <laughs> toilet arms is a really good idea. Yeah. <laughs> we should pursue this. <laughs> toilet arms. So like, if you're ever on the toilet and then you're eating something and you start to choke, toilet arms can wrap itself around you and give you the Heimlich. Oh, you want a way different? I, I was picturing like a man with toilets for arms. You have to oh. Say, if you were ever on the toilet eating. Yeah. Nice. Why was that <laughs> not weirder weird to weird. me? I'm fr I'm a frightened that I just accepted that out of hand. I have a very small apartment. <laughs> and, and no I chairs. I did notice a lack of chairs. Woman. Yeah. yeah, we don't have many chairs. We don't have any chairs. <laughs> huh, it's all coming together now. I have a very busy mm. schedule. Yeah. A lot of toilets, though. Got like four toilets. <laughs> In the arms of the toilet. <laughs> Beg your pardon! 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 Michael Caine's here! Oh! 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 That's a wrap. That's a wrap on that. Is this offensive to British people? Yes! Probably. <laughs> <laughs> After 39 days, Twitch Play's Pokemon has finally captured all 151 original Pokemon. The 39th day is actually a holy day in the religion of Bossmanism. All practitioners are required to make self-deprecating jokes and then laugh silently to themselves for slightly longer than is conventionally comfortable. Someone made a tech demo for a game that combines the VR capabilities of the Oculus Rift and the leap motion pressure and a mouse pad with boobs on it to create an experience that allows users to simulate grabbing the breasts of their anime girlfriends. You can't pre-order it yet. I uh, checked for a friend. Let's call him Michael D. No, 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 that's too obvious. We'll call him M. Damiani. Super Mario celebrated its 30th anniversary last week and Google got in on the fun, adding a glowing question block that produces coins to the right side of the homepage. Oh, the website that wants you to ask questions has a question block on it. Boo fucking who? <laughs> I just love when people go, oh, boo fucking who? Boo fucking who? who? Tiniest little vo volcano? Tiny violin. Violin is what it was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's crying little baby lava for you. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome to Mandatory Update. Hi, Bloodborne! How you doing in Bloodborne, Elise? I, not, I don't like that game. Anyone who doesn't like that game is trash! Yeah, you're right there, trash. Give me that Mike Huber. <laughs> Mike Huber. Um, yeah, this is my only show. Come on, guys. I just had, I, you had your fun with I the switching. Cool no, no. That's the guys thing. We don't do that kind of shit on this. God! <sighs> People are human trash. Yeah. Welcome to the mandatory update. Hi. Let's just get on with the show. I want to die. In the arms <laughs> of the toilet. <laughs> Flush away from me. In the arms of the toilet. Flush away. My body's debris. Whoa. Oh my god. <laughs> Netflix is coming to Gear VR and you'll be able to download it directly to your existing hardware today. We are entering the Demolition Man phase of watch Netflix and chill. I'm trying to do my jokes here and you're throwing talking rain all over the place. I can't. Handle this. You're paid to sit quietly while I read jokes. YouTube personality Dave Jewett has promised to donate one pound to leukemia and lymphoma research every time he dies playing Bloodborne. Bloodborne! Said Jewett, 
I wanted to give something back, and I thought with the combination of blood and bloodborne, a blood charity seemed to match. Dave's generosity to others completely changes the meaning of the phrase to do it. This joke was said by Ian Hink, me, Ian Hink. Move your hair, they can't see it. Don, can we get a close up of this terrible cut? What is this? Her husband gave her that uh, during Netflix and chill. <laughs> I burnt myself with a hair appliance. <laughs> yeah. That's that's a new internet When slang, I was falling down the stairs uh -huh. of my one bedroom apartment. <laughs> Onto six bullets. <laughs> <laughs> Would you fall, trip, land on his dick, and cut your neck because you got a knife dick? It was like Eminem. That was what? an Eminem lyric. Yeah, Eminem would be like, Cause he fall on your knife dick, <laughs> and you think that you's a bitch, but you really is just a witch. Yep, <laughs> that's what he would be like. That's really good, I like your Eminem impression. <laughs> cause you can't go home cause your wife isn't there cause she hates you. <laughs> I mean, and you'll never see your daughter again <laughs> unless she dates you. But that'd be fucked up, like Dre said. <laughs> I play that while I sit with my dog, Benson. Here's a picture of Benson. I have 500 more just like it. Have you seen Benson? At least you have a dog. His name's Benson, and I love him. I have more pictures of Benson on my phone than James. <laughs> At least you have a James. Mm. He's out there. I'm straight. Kind She's of. She's out there. <laughs> hey everybody, I got great news! Somebody shot Kyle! Fell forward. Who falls forward and get hit in the stomach? Yeah, that doesn't make sense. I feel like I always have my period. I feel like I always have my period. <laughs> We've clearly, <laughs> we've officially gone off the deep end. It's over. Three. But I have great news. <laughs> I'm gonna make my eyes smile for this one. Oh my god, it's horrifying. <laughs> like a fucking Cylon. <laughs> if I could chalk this show full of dicks, I would. Chalk dicks? Chalk them up. Screech. Dicks on a chalkboard. <laughs> We should make sound. We should make a sound effects library, but it's all like sound effects nobody would ever need. <laughs> We're like, uh, dicks on a chalkboard. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what part of the dick is making that clinking noise? It's like a paper crane being torn apart. <laughs> <laughs> well, woman sobs in background. <laughs> Bosman, would you ever Except Netflix and ones. chill? So please explain the, the full Netflix you, and chill. You put Netflix Basically, on in the background and have you sex. You like say to your partner, you're like, hey, you want to come over and for Netflix and chill? But you know that that's just really code for like, we'll, we'll pretend like we're gonna, like we'll start out, we're watching, but then like we don't, we're not actually interested in watching yeah. Netflix. We're gonna like make out or do it or you're gonna throw You're gonna throw on that documentary about those dying apes and The fuck. pygmy tribe. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't talk about this stuff in front of cameras. Bossman, have you ever had sex? Do you have net? Do you even have a Netflix account? I don't. Know. How many? This. How many times have you watched Netflix? Do you use your parents' Netflix account? <laughs> that's I do not disgusting. Use my parents Netflix account. I don't do that. Yeah, that's incest. What? <laughs> now I'm the gross one. <laughs> yes. I use Omar's Netflix I didn't mean to put you on the spot the, about Netflix, room. Kyle. But in my bedroom, I use my own Ian Netflix did mean account. to put you on the spot about sex. I absolutely so. did. I already know the answer I, to my question. I think that you pay for your own Netflix account. I think you pay for it, too. Because, God, how else are you going to get it? <laughs> <laughs> Take a sip of that coffee. <laughs> Earlier this week, Nintendo showed off the new Nintendo 3DS and the many customizable backing plates in a colorful and wacky commercial featuring Japanese pop star Kiari Pamu Pamu. What many people don't know is that Nintendo originally approached Mandatory Update to make a commercial for them.
I liked it. She liked it too. I thought it was right on the money. Nintendo's gone crazy. Off their rocker. Off their nut. Up in the tree. Out into pasture. Up, up in the... What did do, map? They fucked us. They fucked us. Kyle, pull up those pants. Kyle. Yeah. yeah. That's the kind of man who's watched Netflix and chill with at least one or two women. Maybe he shares his account with a friend. Oh. Generous. A very generous yeah. lover and Netflix owner. He is a generous Netflix owner. He's got like a piece of paper on his sweatshirt just above his ass. I've been watching it all day. It's like a target. Like, He's, look here. Yeah. Look what here. What do you see? Lint? What do you see? It's like just, a, oh, you got it with your wrist. Okay. Look at that ass. Next question. I'm distracted by that ass. <laughs> I see you, baby. Sticking that Prompting ass. Prompting that ass. All right, we'll go back to frumpy butt. Oh, oh no. I can still imagine yeah, I st- it. I, I've seen too much. I like it still. I like it. Does, it, does anyone have any, like, what? What? Are you, what, are you, what? EA is assuring fans that Battlefield Hardline will not be plagued by the same bugs and network issues as previous Battlefield launches. Said creative director Ian Milham, what you're basically asking is, is your game going to work? And the answer is yes, it's gonna work. And it's gonna be great. You'll get the full Los Angeles cop experience. So have no fear, you guys will be able to beat the shit out of some black kid who didn't do anything wrong completely glitch free. Sometimes I just don't care. Yeah, Yeah, that's the best days Mm -hmm. when we're not fighting and neither of us gives a shit and just has fun. That's when this show's the best. Yeah, I shaved my legs. Ooh! So. I just noticed they had a little peach fuzz yesterday. Oh, oh did you hey, now? Man. <laughs> <laughs> Is that weird? <laughs> God, I wish we'd done the Macho Man joke. Do the Macho no, Man no, no, joke. No, no, no. Make it up. No, no, no. Do it. Your husband will love you again. It'll be great. Too close to home. <laughs> How long do I have to do this eyebrow thing? Check out the slot on that console. <laughs> Oh, I have. <laughs> Cut the shit With out of my, my dick. dick. Yeah. <laughs> I know film? a joke about. I think so. I know a joke about uh, engineers. Mm. There's like a, a mechanical engineer who's like, oh, God was a mechanical engineer. Look at the skeletal system is advanced, and then the electrical engineer was like, no way. Look at the nervous system. That's the most advanced electrical, whatever. And then the other one's me. like. The other one's like, the other one's like, he's a civil engineer. You can't say you're losing me in the middle of a joke. You're losing me. Civil engineer. I know I'm losing. I always try to tell things that no one listens. Civil engineer. What does civil engineer say? He says God is a civil engineer because who else would have run a waste pipeline through a major recreational area? Sorry. I get that. Forgive me. No, I, I didn't. That. I didn't I even hear the attention. end. I'm okay. sorry. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I get that. That's a good one. But Fuck you. <laughs> With the regular season kicking off on October 7th, EA Canada is finally able to add rookies to their NHL 16 rosters. Now you understand why I illegally smuggled myself out of Canada in a maple syrup crate. I don't want to be in the NHL. (laughs) It is mandatory. Yeah. And so is this update. Oh! Thanks for watching! Thanks for watching! Good night and good game! Boswin, can we go on a double date with you and your seven girlfriends? I'm sorry, that last one, that was the joke, is that you have to join the NHL and that's why you left? That's the show! Thanks for watching! Thanks for watching! (laughs) Any other questions?
I do like when Bosman's controlling the prompter and then he starts laughing or like we're he's trying to do his job yeah. and then we're insulting him. I think yeah, that works really well. That does work really well. I like that too. Cuz when we, Plus when we that just, ass. when, when he's he just, sitting down yeah, he can't oh see. Oh yeah. It. And when he's just like sitting over there, it's like what is he here for? Eye candy? He's not doing I mean, anything. Well, yes. Well, yeah, that is why. Yeah. God, look at it. It's very good. Even when it's frumpy, it's pretty good. I think he pulled them up when we weren't looking. He must have pulled them back up again. He's got an ego about him now. Yeah. Oh, he just flexed it when he laughed. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, also, there are, like, stunt coordinators, too. Yeah. There are, like, there are, like, probably a team of stunt coordinators on this movie, because this is nonstop. We should just finish filming this so we have more time to get other things done so we can just watch Mad Max again. Greg Van Borsum. Who that? Mad Max Free Road fight choreographer, fight choreographer. stunt performer. Uh, yeah. Greg Van Borsum. Greg, you're great. Greg, you're nice great. work. Is the assistant director oh, nice. of Happy Feet 1 and 2. Oh my god. They <laughs> I love these the people. Set. I love that these people. <laughs> That, he was oh, like, you done fucking around with these people. penguins and you want to make yeah. some real shit? Visual effects, yeah. happy feet. He's like, he's like, what if George Miller's just like, I love two things in this world. Post-apocalyptic murder vehicles and penguins. penguins. That makes no sense. <laughs> penguins was, have a lot in common with post-apocalyptic murder vehicles. He was also... <laughs> he's also the stunt performer, though. <laughs> he's, all, he's the assistant director on Happy Feet, and he's also just like, all right, let's he's go. Also like he's also super ripped. He's like, I'm going to flip off a pole onto a tanker truck. <laughs> he's no That's sense. on fire. He also plays Rip. In 2006, YouTube sensation... Nope. What? Oh. <laughs> 2016. Peggy, 18. <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep going, we gotta go. We can't use any of that. VR should only be enabled when going into a race itself since the menus were never designed with it in mind. Huber! <laughs> I took a wrong turn at the inverted y-axis option. Huber! We're in front of the illustrious Battleborn staircase. They're literally asking you to walk all over Battleborn. Shouldn't be too hard. Yeah, I guess, you know, all I have is my toys. Stupid toys. My keychains. My wallets. My oversized bath towels. My kitchen utensils. These are my children. I love you. When a man develops scars, he, he hides them. He covers them. In oversized novelty t-shirts. Or, as we call them in the biz, Novel t-shirts. That is the saddest thing I've ever heard. Can you get me one of those t-shirts? Yes, I can. Thank you. Just uh, send me your address and size and an email. I will. And uh, the subject of that email, please uh, just put your name and the shirt size. Consider it done. Please don't include any attachments. I won't. Ha 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 ha! Heroes of the Storm officially launched this week and Blizzard added Johanna. The Crusader from Diablo 3 is a playable character. And I gotta say, I don't know how I feel about her hair. Ah! I took a wrong turn at the one inverted. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't include any attachments. <laughs> I won't. <laughs> Can you get me one of those t shirts? Yes, I can. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I was losing it. I love you. <laughs> okay. Maybe email me. Put
put your name in t-shirt size. <laughs> God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> I can't do it. It's a good time. God damn it. <laughs> Please don't include any attachments. <laughs> Such a weird line. <laughs> I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! Huber, I'm sorry! This would appear in direct conflict with Operation... Operation... Let me tell you when you do a The bad classic uh, childhood game, Operation. Operation. Don't They're touch the swords. <laughs> Watch out for his heart. <laughs> Get that fern to burn. <laughs> Pull back his arms. <laughs> I took a wrong turn at the inverted access. <laughs> <laughs> the Pokemon Expo Gym is opening in Osaka, Japan on November 19th. According to an article by the Japanese site Inside Games, the Expo Gym is a real-life, hands-on edutainment facility that offers Pokemon training tips and related activities, as well as the chance to enjoy a conversation with Pokemon. We fully expect that, having heard this news, Kyle Bosman will... Kyle, you're supposed to be gone and there's supposed to be a chair spinning around. Yeah, but I have to... What? But I have to stand. To do my job. Yeah? I'm just saying, like, I, yeah, there could be a chair here, but I have to stand. Right, but the joke is that you want to go... Because you love Pokemon. Because you love Pokemon. You're gone, like, you know? And, like, yeah, what if it was a cartoon, there'd be a little pu puff of smoke. What if the people watching this don't even know that I like Pokemon? Then we would explain it to them. We'd be like, side bitch loves Pokemon. That's stupid joke. You didn't do it. You, the joke as it stood was you would do that and then suddenly there would be a spinning chair where there's not been a chair this whole time. Well, well, there was supposed to... You didn't set up your station. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't set up my station? Side bitch it always sits in a chair. <laughs> we no, I don't. This, we just this joke I've been for the just last three you're, weeks. Just because you're a prompter wizard and a side bitch does it. What? Screw it. Screw it. Screw the whole thing. Screw it. I could do it. I no, could do the screw whole it. Thing. We said screw it. I'll put a chair. I'll go pull in one. I gotta. No more ifs, ands, or frumpy butts. Frumpy butts. You think you can stand there with that magnificent ass and you just can't put a chair there? What? And leave it spinning? Now that. I don't know what this Now that. Actually, now that we've been talking. Hang on now. Now that we've been talking about it, I don't think I want him to put that ass on a chair. I want to be okay, able to- Here we go. This is a spinning chair. Whoop, whoop, no, whoop, Kyle, whoop. no! <laughs> Kyle, it's not this is a spin. Pokemon Center. Look, he couldn't wait to go. No. Kyle's on his way to Japan now. <laughs> whoop, whoop, whoop. That's not the joke. I would love to be on my way to Japan. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> You've gotten a little too big for your britches, mister. Literally, that butt is yes. yeah, stretching you that denim to you high hell. You should get some fitted jeans. The, that's a good point. Bosman needs some more fitted jeans. That's the show for this week. Good night and good day. You've caused enough trouble, M&Ms. <laughs> Kyle, <face. laughs> You're safe. I've never even <laughs> seen that face before. It's what? right there. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> what I was trying to express was shock and pain. <laughs> At him. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> this January, you can check out a comic book series that will serve as a prequel to the game Mortal Kombat X. We say Mortal Kombat Cross. Not you again. Who are you guys? Are you wearing black socks atop black tights? Yeah, dog. Whoa. I mean, my feet would get too cold. Black you got, socks you got cold little feet? Atop black oh, yeah, I mean. Yeah, I get pain in my feet every day. You got a song going there, Bossy? Yeah. Work. Sing your little song? Yeah, Sing that's your little song, boss man. Black tops above black sights. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 the first time through, I'd said all the words perfect. <laughs> black socks above black sights. <laughs> oh, man. Don black. Struggling. That's the show for this week. Good night and good You've night. caused enough trouble, M&M's. I can't walk and see where I'm going with all this shit down here. Bruh, I like I like your hat. I like a hat on. Black socks on black tie. How's the next verse go? <laughs> yeah, what's the rest of that song? <laughs>
Very naughty in the dark night. Whoa. <laughs> okay, what's next? She remembers how I thought of her. <laughs> In other Nintendo news, President Satoru Iwata has revealed a new quality of life product that will supposedly help users sleep. It's called the Wii U. <laughs> Flames. You see, because the system is boring and thus would put you... World of Warcraft's Activist subscriptions edged down again to their lowest figure in nine years, Activision Blizzard reported, coming in somewhere below 5.5 million subs. The company doesn't intend to report on subscription numbers in the future, citing other metrics that are better indicators of the overall Blizzard performance. They will henceforth forth <laughs> only yeah. report numbers of deviant, deviant art drawings <laughs> based on World of Warcraft. Oh, that was man. good. That was good. I think we got it. Show the pics. <laughs> black socks on black ties. <laughs> well, are any of the robotic dinosaurs at least female? Why, yes. In fact, all of the dinosaurs that we have seen in Horizon are female. Well, how how, how do they know that all the dinosaurs are female? Do, do, do they go out in the field and, and lift up their skirts? By the vagina. I see. <coughs> Yo, tell you what I want, what I really, really want. Tell me what you want, what I really, really want. I want to, 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 I
Yeah. As I've it basically many is times. an anime. They you already have the like hair. An anime filter on it, and you, you're there. Bossman, is it because you see too much of yourself in Keanu Reeves' character? Yeah. I don't. I don't know if it's a character. <laughs> <laughs> No, it clearly is, because he's all straight laced and uptight like you, and then he puts on the act of being a surfer dude, yeah. but then realizes that being a surfer dude is who he really is. Yeah, it's like when you come in here and your pants are like pulled up all the way, yeah. your butt's all tight, yeah. and it's like, just relax the just pants, man. Just it out. Right now you got the front butt, and it's great. Yeah. Just tuck it down. Yeah. Roll the front butt. Yeah. Next joke. See, his frumpy butt is right next to the prompter. It's really distracting. <laughs> okay. Can you tie a sweater around your waist yeah. or something? Yeah. It, it actually kind of like somehow accents it Yeah, more. like the sweater it like is, makes it look more bulbous. Yeah. <laughs> it's the hood. Yeah, it's like got a hood and it's like, ooh, yeah. <laughs> so happy Christmas. That's the lyrics! Merry Christmas! Bossman can't keep us apart Bosman anymore, Newsdesk. Bossman can't news hurt desk. you anymore, Newsdesk. Don't they worry. They use a couch on GT time. We're back, baby. This this news desk has become an exclusive mandatory update. Yeah, it pretty desk. much is. Just our desk now. Yeah. Ghost desk! Do whatever the fuck we want We're with it! Do whatever the fuck we want with this fucking- My boobs on it. Put your boobs right on it! Put those boobs on that desk. What's happening? The desk was like, those are pretty flat, and I'm a desk. <laughs> you have a lovely figure. You're very womanly. And so happy Christmas! <laughs> we hope you have fun! Just as a public service announcement here, uh, Final Fantasy XIII has hit Steam. Uh, be uh... careful not to accidentally buy it. You mean Lightning Returns. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Lightning Returns is hit Steam. Final Fantasy XIII came like out forever Final ago. Final Fantasy XIII Lightning Returns. Yeah, no, it's, Lightning, it. it's Lightning Returns Final, Final Fantasy XIII. Yeah. yeah. Come on, man. Ignore him until I introduce on, him. Nothing will kill a joke faster than, uh... <laughs> 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 We're off to a good start. All right, one more, one more. Settle down. It's that simple. War is over now. Because we said so. War is over if you believe it. Is that simple? Just be happy. All the little red and yellow ones. <laughs> Opinion yellow is a good segment. Thank you. I think it's a good uh, segment. I think it came to me in a dream. A fever dream. Yeah. You're right. You pitched it for a while before we actually did it. I What's pitched it the... for a long time. You were, I remember that you were just like, it's cool because it'll look like oi. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the logo's oi. <laughs> Aya. Aya. <laughs> anyway. Wally knee. <laughs> Wally <laughs> knee. <laughs> oh, we're the How worst. do you spell it? with Chinese characters. Welcome to Opinion Yell. On today's episode, it's the fight to end all fights. Bloodborne versus The Witcher 3. Does Bloodborne even know what eye contact is? Shut your mouth, blood! <laughs> Listen, you fucking idiot. There's no oh, Quinn yeah. in Bloodborne, yeah. some all-powerful yeah. spell yeah. to no. fucking cheese yeah. your way through the game. It's not like I don't like Bloodborne. Shut Oh, got you, bitch. Have you seen every episode of Gilmore Girls? Dude. I just watched one last night where Jess came back after being gone for so long. Legit best boyfriend. That's, that's okay. Well, lesson learned, though. Naughty Dog was that's a learned. lesson, yeah. I learned my lesson. I don't do, you don't do pickups in mm -hmm. bed when you're sleepy. Yeah. Do you sleep uh, in PJs? Too personal. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle goes full blown naked. <laughs> you sleep in PJs? I sleep in PJs. How? Yeah. 
What do you mean how? That's so weird. I have a really, really like thin shirt and then like some just like a really thin shirt. Is it like threadbare? Like old? It's like a really nice material. Yeah, it's oh, like you thin. Bought it. Yeah, it's like thin and You comfortable. bought a shirt to sleep in. Oh, no, man. it used to be just like a normal shirt. Everyday shirt. Love triangle? Haven't heard that one before. Bloodborne has combat. You know it's what's a lot cool? Of dough. Is it's like, like cheddar. Mega How many 64? Is that? Mega 64 just having like, hey, we're just going to meet our fans at Disneyland today. Yeah. They have such a huge community. Must be nice. Must be nice. <laughs> so is this because of a note? Uh, yeah. We need to wacky it up a little. People said the show's not funny. It's so not we, wacky. We, so yeah, we, yeah, a lot of, a lot of comments are, they said the show wasn't funny. So I boiled that down. I distilled that down and I said, what do we need? Radio DJ noises. Uh, so you got what you asked for. You're here with, with Kyle Bossman and the snooze. You're the snooze. Cool. But he wears the snooze? Oh, right, God. because he's so jazzed. Oh, all like the time. naming a guy tiny. Yeah, yeah like it. naming a giant the guy snooze. tiny. Yeah, all right. Cool, I'm into that. Uh, <laughs> the snooze. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Gaijin. I don't know what that is. Otaku. I don't know what that is. Weeaboo. What language are you speaking? Japan. <laughs> Sledgehammer Games is gifting the 100 top-ranked Call of Duty Advanced Warfare players with a special armor. It's called the Grandmaster, and it's an extremely ornamental armor set complete with gold metallic detailing. Here to explain this unusual prize is the armor's designer, Paul Jean Janvier. So, okay, uh, what were you going for with this design? Well, Glenn gave me three rules. I had to stand out from every regular armor you can unlock in the game. I had to incorporate the exosuit. Lastly, and I agreed with him on this one, it had to make the character more bangable. Yeah, there it is. No, it's true. It's a fact that in medieval times, the more ornate and intricate your armor was, that would correlate to how bangable you are. Are you two okay? I, I actually, I, I based this Grandmaster armor here uh, on an actual suit worn by an actual medieval knight. What was the name of the knight? Sir Bangalot. Mm. Sir Bangalot. Here's what it's like trying to pick something up in The Witcher. Oops. Didn't need that. That's not the potion. Whoops. Whoops. Over encumbered. Whoops. Oh, there it is. So there's a picture of a man falling down stairs. I want to see what this sounds like. Okay. Okay, well first, you got to set it up. First, here's an idea. This is the noise it's going to make when Bloodworth sees that I give Uncharted 4 a 10. That's like all the emotions his face goes through. <laughs> I like the little quick oh, one. Oh. Not quick. That is, this is too fun. All right. I like that. Uh, uh, classic. Yeah. That's a classic noise. So yeah, that this is in response to a repeated note that the show doesn't have jokes anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, so we got jokes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, how about this one? Build your website with HostGator for two thirty three per month and save over seventy seven percent. That sounds to me like sponsored content. That is a sponsored yeah. ad. Yeah. Okay. That's an ad. Skip. 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 <laughs> Next. Uh, hmm. We should do that stuff though. What? What? Sponsored content? I wish <laughs> I wish the game show had sponsored content. It was almost saying like <laughs> this episode you were is saying oh we as yeah. gametrailers.com should get money. Yeah. <laughs> we should get money. It, it'll That'd never be good. work. The bees will never go for it. Oh jeez. Uh, but what would you do otherwise? What for this? Yeah. I figure I'll just like harass Bossman or something. Oh I mean that's that's illegal. It is? I mean, it's really hot. Like, yeah. super hot. His ass. 
I didn't say that. I didn't. Say, I want to go out on good terms. I didn't oh. say that. I didn't say that. I mean, I, I, you don't have to say it. It transcends all speech. It's like, it's like two tomatoes on some celery sticks. Yeah, you or know? like a, like a, like a clay sculpture of an ass done by a master, but then like, a bunch of students did everything above and below the ass. <laughs> <laughs> thank you to you, Ian. Oh, thank you to you. What are we doing? Okay, there we go. <laughs> well, like this. <laughs> but uh, it's is you're my best friend. So. You're my best friend. Thank it's you. It's been ah. Uh, thanks for a wonderful show, Elise. Thank you for a wonderful evening. Yeah. <laughs> um. How do we end it? This, you like that big ending you had planned. All right. I just don't want to wake up if it's a dream. You're gonna join me tonight I just don't want to wake up And if it's a joke You sure know how to make me laugh I just don't want to wake up If it's a dream You're gonna join me tonight I just don't want to wake up And if it's a joke You sure know how to make me laugh Whoa! I had the most wonderful dream and I killed you, and I killed you, and I killed you. He's okay. <sighs>